नमस्ते गुरुकुल होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर हेल्थी फिट एंड फाइन वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल द गुरुकुल नीलो खेड़ी एंड टुडे आई संजीव शर्मा वंस अगेन हैव ब्रॉट बिफोर यू योर इलेवेंथ क्लास इंग्लिश कैरी दिस बुक इन योर हैंड हॉर्नबिल एंड दिस इज द लास्ट फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर टू वी आर नॉट एफ्रेड टू डाई इफ वी कैन ऑल बी टूगेदर क्लियर आई होप दैट ऑल ऑफ यू will be listening to me attentively by putting your 100% concentration clear so here i start it this is a chapter we are not afraid to die if we can all be together right this is a story name written by gordon cook and allen east right so students in the previous one three chapters i have given the description of the narrator when he paid a visit to a sea voyage along with his family he his wife mary his son jonathan his daughter sue and the two crew men which he had hired clear and uh, he had to face a big storm an enormous storm the gigantic gales were there clear and uh, he uh, found the condition of his wave walker boat wave walker is the name of the boat which he had uh got it ready before the sea voyage and he was going doing his voyage uh through this wave walker the condition of wave walker had has had been completely almost almost been damaged and he did, he could not find any source the electric pumps had stopped working another separate pump was there he it was uh, throwing the water but still the water was entering inside the waves were taking the upper portion of the boat higher and when they were going upwards they thought that they were riding above the sky so this condition was going on this his daughter sue she got a serious injury nearby uh, her eyes on the forehead and he uh, the narrator himself along with the his uh, uh, with the help of his wife mary and the two crew men in rotation he started doing uh, duty on the steering what happened after that it's a page number 16 1 2 3 fourth paragraph but our respite was short lived means as i told you after a long process everybody in rotation after 2 to hours they started giving their duties suppose first of all i am giving my duty the rest they can take rest clear and after that my wife it's a duty of my wife i can take rest then the third person then fourth person then again my duty will come in the rotation of 2 to 2 hours we started giving the duty so we will getting little bit rest and some breakfast we had got but this was very short lived okay this respite this rest was there very short lived what happened in the evening at 4 pm sham ko 4 baje the black clouds began building up behind us just at the back side of us we found the enormous black clouds were approaching the huge big mountains black clouds were coming within the hour within one hour the wind was back to 40 knots the speed of wind started blowing up to 40 knots knots it is just measured in order to measure the speed the velocity of the wind and the seas were getting higher and the sea it was getting high and high means uh, it was about to rain the storm the heavy 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 biggest dangerous enormous storm was about to come the weather continued to deteriorate throughout the night means the rain got started okay the weather was getting deteriorated deteriorate means the condition of the weather was becoming more and more worse for the whole night and by dawn dawn means next early morning at the time of sun uh, you know sunrise at the time of sunrise the next morning on january 
our situation was again desperate desperate means full of disappointed desperate means sad okay next morning again the condition of narrator and his family had become completely sad now so when i went in to comfort the children means when narrator he went nearby his children his daughter his son to console them to comfort them john asked his son his nickname was john complete name was jonathan he asked daddy are we going to die means daddy please tell me we are going to die dad then i tried to assure him i tried to make him comfort that we could make it don't worry bete means god will help us and i'm trying my level best we will get the victory over it means that we will um, we will not be drowned we will not die don't worry about it we will come out of this disaster i simply tried to console my son right then but daddy he went on he continued but daddy listen to me we are not afraid to die if we can all be together you mummy siu and i then this is the backbone of the story these lines he himself said that ki daddy we are not afraid to die because if we can all be together you are here i am here mummy is here my sister siu is here all of us we are here our whole family is here then no need to worry daddy no need to worry we are not afraid to die if death comes let it be no issue then i could find no words means i couldn't reply back to him because i got emotional full of sentiments with which to respond what are what to respond back to him i couldn't get the words but i left the children's cabin determined to fight the sea with everything immediately i left the cabin of my children and went outside i got determination full of resolution that i would fight against the storm i would fight against the sea right with everything i had whatever i was having whether it is compass whether it is electric pump whether it is jib whether it is mast whether it is any any anything i will use each and everything i will try to make my rescue operation then so to protect the weekend starboard side i decided to heave to with the undamaged port hull facing the oncoming waves using an impro improvised sea anchor of heavy nylon rope and two 22 liter plastic barrels of paraffin means i decided to have it i decided to use what it with the undamaged port hull facing the oncoming waves means the waves were coming inside they were bringing pl plenty of water some of the portion it had completely been damaged but little bit portion was remained undamaged okay on that undamaged portion of the of the boat i was using improvised sea anchor of heavy nylon rope means the beautiful and heavy anchor anchor i told you it is used in order to control the speed of the ship with it was it was uh, hung with the nylon rope nylon it is a quantity of uh, the rope you can say that means nylon clear so nylon nylon's rope was there and it was hanging with nylon it's very uh, strong and solid rope and 222 liter barrels of paraffin paraffin it's a like a petrol you can say it means you can say that right so 22 liter barrels of paraffin i was having that evening mary and i sat together holding the hands i was sitting with my wife by holding the hands in this way as the motion of the ship brought more and more water in through the broken planks planks means holes p l a n k s means holes right throughout the broken holes the water still it was entering inside as the ship was moving little bit ahead okay so we both felt that our end was near me and my wife we started thinking that we are ready to die our end was near then but wave walker but our boat wave walker it rode out it continuously moving 
out the storm by the morning of January 6. It was January 5. For the whole night, the wave operator was mowing on, going on, moving on, moving on. The next morning, on 6th morning, 6th January, with the wind easting, the direction of the wind, it got changed. Earlier, it was going towards uh, east, then slowly, slowly, it started moving towards the other opposite direction. Okay, easing. Means, uh, slowly, slowly, they were getting slow in this way. Suppose, the velocity of the wind was 40 knots. Slowly, slowly, it was coming nearby 10 knots. Okay, 15 knots approximately. I tried to get a reading on the sextant. Sextant, actually, uh, during the sea voyage, they are having a map, a big map they are having. So, it is used in order to measure the direction with the help of some estimation. Clear? So, narrator, he started using the sextant. But in the chart room, but where he was in the chart room, I worked on wind speed. Especially, I was measuring the speeds, speed of the wind. Ki what is the speed of wind right now? I was totally dependent on the speed, the velocity of the wind. Changes, of course. Yes, I told you, it was getting changed. Earlier, it was going this direction. Slowly, slowly, it was turning towards other direction. Drift and current in an effort to calculate our position. Clear cut, it was moving, sometimes slow, sometimes pace, sometimes medium. So, I could calculate, I could be able to calculate the, the proper knots of the proper position of my, where I was located. The best I could determine that we were somewhere in 1,050, sorry, 150,000 kilometer of ocean looking for 65 kilometer wide island. island. I want to tell you students that when narrator he was into the ocean, he was in, in the ocean that was spread it up to 1,50,000 kilometer, okay. And he was searching for a 65 kilometer long island. It is just like that, he means the ocean is very big, okay. And a small island he was finding inside it, just same as it is. Suppose this is the ocean and this is the island where he was searching for because he was just up a few hundred kilometers away from this island. Then, while I was thinking, Sue moving painfully joined me. My daughter immediately she came to me. Her head was paining. The serious injury she had got, she came to me. The left side of her head, this one was now swollen. The heavy swelling took place. Sujan Agaiti. And her blackened eyes narrowed to slits. Slits means hole, crack. Slits means crack, you can say that. Or holes, we can use that. Okay. The swelling, they were just coming up to everywhere. And there were, they were some cracks in between the swelling. She gave me a card she had made. She was making a card. Okay. And she handed over to me, Papa, Daddy. Papa, this is for you. Please have it. Then on the front when I had seen she had drawn caricatures. Caricatures means cartoons. C-A-R-I-C-A-T-U-R-E-S means it's a cartoons. Okay. She had drawn some cartoons. Whose cartoons? <sighs> there are some funny people. Some funny people were there inside. Some funny people were there inside. Did they make you laugh? Papa, these are some funny people I have made. These can make you laugh. I laughed a lot as well. Yes, definitely. After looking at the cartoons, I started laughing heavily. Inside was a message. Inside the cartoon, there was a message. Oh, how I love you both. Mommy and Daddy, both of you. I love you a lot. So this card is to say thank you. This is the card I am giving. I am paying my vote of thanks to you, Papa. And let's hope for the best and be positive. Definitely we are going to get victory over it. We are not died. Means that suppose if we are died, no problem. But we will try for the best. We will hope for the best. The rest depends in the hands of God. Clear? Somehow we had to make it mean somehow we need this kind of inspiration and whatever my daughter Sue had given it to me. 
I checked and rechecked my calculation. Then I got busy again in my calculation throughout my maps. Again and again, rechecking was going on. We had lost our main compass. The main compass we had lost somewhere. And I was using a spare, the separate one, again a spare compass I was having, which had not been corrected for magnetic variation. It didn't have correct mag magnetic variations, means it didn't show me the accurate position where we were located. It means in short, it was not working properly. I made an allowance for this and another estimate of the influence of the westerly currents which flow through this the part of Indian Ocean means again my calculation got started throughout the westerly currents westerly means the wind were coming from the west okay in the Indian Ocean this was the Indian Ocean in which they were they had been caught over there and he was making his calculation throughout the knots of the uh, wind which were coming from the west direction clear at 2 p.m. in the afternoon I went on the deck in the main room of the captain. I went on the deck and asked Larry, Larry means the crewman, to steer a, a course of 180 degree. I asked him, just change the direction of the boat in 180 degree from this direction to here. This is 185 degree and take straight forward this boat to there. Right? And I said, means the narrator said to him, now, what to do? At a moment, a tousled head, tousled means Jukawa Sir, leaned head, tousled head means bored head, Jukawa Sir, in this way, like that, okay? A tousled head appeared by my bunk just before my sleeping place. A tousled head came. Can I have a hug, Papa? Jonathan asked, Sue was right behind him, means it was my son and my daughter was just behind him. Why am I getting a hug now? Why? What is the requirement to hug me? Because you are the best daddy in the whole world and the best captain as well. My son replied, yes, yes daddy, you are the best captain, you are the best daddy. Not today John, I am afraid because I forgot I have missed the island. Why? You must be, you must be a big good captain. Sad Sue, my daughter said in matter of fact wise because she was clarifying the statement of my, of, of my son. You found the island, Papa, Daddy, you have found the island. What? I shouted, oh my God, it's out of, out there in front of us, just, it is outside, come outside on the desk and you see, just be clear cut before your eyes. They chorused, chorus means collectively, they sat as big as a battleship. Battleship means just like that uh, a ship which is used for fighting for battle in the uh, sea ocean, you can say that battle, Yudhpoth, clear in Hindi translation. It was looking like a battle sh battleship. So I was surprised, I rushed on the deck, I ran towards the deck and gazed, gazed means started looking. With relief, I got relaxation in my mind. The stark outland, stark means hard. Stark outland means hard view. Land, you can say that the hard land, the stark outline of the big island, Isles Amsterdam. This is the name of the island. It is the name behind the scientist Amsterdam. It was only a bleak piece of volcanic rock. Bleak means without color. B L E A K means color less. Without color, right? It was colorless piece of volcanic Jwalamukhi rock, Chattane. It was a volcanic rock without colors with little bit vegetation, little bit vegetation we could find means greenery, little bit greenery we could found over there, the most beautiful island in the world, but after all it was the most beautiful island because it had saved our lives. We anchored offshore, anchored means we stayed, okay, we had taken shelter offshore, offshore means kinare par, for the whole night and the next morning 
all 28 inhabitants inhabitants means the persons those who are residing those who are living over there 28 inhabitants of the island cheered they got happy because they as they helped us ashore quickly they came on the seashore in order to help us out with my hand under feet sorry with my with land under my feet once again means i found the land it was under my feet mere paon ke zameen thi my thoughts were full of larry and herbie cheerful and optimistic under the direst stress means even after my crew men they were under stress i was feeling the optimistic views means ashawadi views and i along with my family had uh, adopted this optimism and because of that because of my my wife mary because of my son jonathan because of my daughter siu i could be able to there and my my wife mary who stayed at the wheel for those crucial hour crucial means difficult hours for which my wife mary she helped me out to steer the uh, boat clear most of all sabse zyada i thought of seven year old girl my daughter her age was merely seven years old who did not want us to worry she did not want to distract any one of us with a head injury when because she got a head injury which subsequently took six minor operation minor means very small small operations took place okay to remove a re recurring blood clot clot means blood clotting is there whenever suppose uh, if you are getting an injury okay and the blood is coming out of your body clotting cannot be done cannot be made but whenever if the blood is stays inside so after some time it becomes thick and it takes the form of clotting a clot ban jata hai right gaunt cyst so blood cysts were there in in short between skin and skull so in order to take out the clotting between the skin and the skull so doctors had taken six minor operation one from here one from here one from here in this way six minor operation they had done and a six years old boy i was thinking of a boy whose age was merely six years old my son jonathan who was not afraid to die even he had cheered me by calling that daddy we are not afraid to die if we can all be together so where there is a will there is a way this story has given an optimism ki suppose if you are having a positivity even after us crucial circumstances definitely the god will come to help you to protect you definitely sure and sure so students this was the end of the chapter i hope that you might have listened it carefully if you face any problem with respect to the content of this chapter so please please kindly send your queries uh, in the group in which you have already been added over there and till the next video we will meet once again till then take care have a nice day namaskar thank you so much